Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you're brand new and if you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's feature, we're going to be diving into Plan Away, which is a extension or power up that you can use inside of Trello. We're going to be reviewing this. It's been on the hot list to review for a fair while now and something I do want to share with you guys a little more about how you can use it in practice. Now, just before we jump into the feature, we'll be diving over to Trello on the Mac. But I wanted to mention the Trello long-term planning video, which might be helpful for you guys when you are watching this one. Now, the long-term Trello planning video was a useful feature because we dived into different templates, functions, features that you can use with Trello if you're looking to long-term plan it for the year ahead. So if you wanna use this video alongside that one, feel free to. Final note as well is make sure to hit that subscription button and the bell notification for regular features here on the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Anyway guys, let's jump over to the laptop and dive into Plan Away calendar for Trello. So here we are with Trello and as you can see here, I have the Plan Away calendar installed here on my Trello account. Now, what I want to do today is share with you some of the core experiences that make Plan Away different. I want to also dive into how you can use it and get it on your Trello application or your device. So hopefully this will be a nice overview of Plan Away. Uh, it took me a while to be able to uh, say Plan Away. I was going to say uh, Plan Anyway. Oh my God, I'm getting it wrong. It's Plan Anyway. Plan Anyway. It's really hard to pronounce, but I just call it Plan Anyway uh, calendar. But what it does is it's a Chrome power up. So you'll be able to find this if you haven't yet in the power up section on your menu bar. If you go into the power ups and type in plan anyway or whatever it is, um, plan any way. There we go. Um, you've got it by and the developers are Rubius. Rubius. Uh, plan anyway is a calendar and team timeline for Trello to manage time and teamwork. So this works with other individuals. Uh, I have the Chrome extension installed. Um, I'm not sure I'll include that in description below, but it actually plugs into your web version, but you can install it through the power up section. So as you can see here, uh, you can go into the authorized section. Um, it will be able to read your boards, uh, create updates, make comments and read your email as well. But once you've done that and you're happy with the installation, you can see here that I'm on a plan anyway free account. And what pops up is this sort of like calendar experience. Um, so it's quite an easy way to do that. Now you can send feedback through here. You can also view your account and upgrade. So that's all accessible through there. But if you want to hide it away, uh, it's really easy to do so there. Now it is a Trello power up. So it becomes uh, a really nice integration into your sort of Trello experience. And some few notes before we move on. Um, it's used by Uber, Google, Gov.uk, and it's got about 65,000 users, which is pretty impressive. Um, and there is a free and paid experience, although most of the features, well, not most of the features, that I'm going to show you a full demonstration of the free experience. So as you can see here, this is my marathon run um, sort of board for Trello. I used it as a demo one, so it's not, I'm not really running a marathon, um, but it gives a few indications. It's sort of a demo board that I like to use. So once you hit this one, let's say I'm like, okay, I need to run like a full 10K and I actually need to do that on Friday and I'm going to leave it till after work. So maybe five o'clock or six o'clock, even in this case. So what you can do is you can drag this onto the plan away board. And as you can see here, goal run a full 10K race comes up. And that is a great way to plan. You may have seen here as well that this now has got a due date. If I click in, I can see the exact due date has appeared. So it's a great way to visually plan and something that Trello sometimes lacks the ability to actually use a calendar experience. Obviously you've got your power up of a calendar, but this sort of like helps you to plot it out in a more accurate fashion. So you can move that one and automatically it will be orientated to the due date. It's actually got a start date and an end date. So it's very useful to use straight away. 
Now you're probably wondering, okay, that's really handy. I can actually visualize that. I can see also all of the advanced stuff and I can also uh, reload the calendar manually. I can switch to a vertical view if I wanted to. So that's very helpful, but I'm gonna stick in horizontal view for the moment. Uh, and I can import and export the calendar as well when I'm finished. But I can also sync it with Google Calendar. But Google Calendar Sync two-way is a pro function. Uh, I could start a free trial, but I'll sort of explain how that works in a minute. I can also take a look at the other boards as well. Again, this is a pro function, but it does provide you with a nice view. Now, if you are looking to actually go into the settings, you can change the light theme or the custom or the colorful theme. Uh, that just only modifies it. You can show work hours only, which might save you time. You can enable the Trello filters, but again, a pro feature. So as I was saying, quite a lot of it's locked under the pro experience, but it just gives you a good indication of what you can get access to. So I've got that goal set up there. Uh, maybe I want to go, okay, I need to join a yoga class as well. So I'm gonna put that one here. So essentially you're creating your calendar events and it just becomes a much more effective way of planning. You've basically got this view that you can start organizing all of your activities on. And for example, I can skip forward into the month view and scroll on to maybe, well, I don't know, let's go to 17th of April and move this one on here. And it's actually set it as an item. Now, the nice thing as well is it's actually indicated a nice checklist in there. So it's done that quite well. And I'm gonna move that one there too. So it does do plot things very, very well. And it's something that is can be can be a very useful thing. And let's say I wanted to see the weekly agenda view. I can see that quite nicely. It's almost like taking your Trello power up board to a new level. If I wanna see the work week, I can. Um, and I can also see a day view, uh, which is quite nice, but I would probably put that in vertical view if I was if I was using this, but it's quite a nice way to actually just see stuff. So if I had a bunch of tasks here, so for example, let's say uh, I am a very specific calendar user um, and I wanna go to the uh, view here of day and I wanted to go to the vertical view and I wanted to knock the menu off. Um, and I had a certain amount of tasks I wanted to get done today. So uh, maybe I was like, these are really old demo ones, but if I wanted to review that page there, maybe I want to get that done. Maybe I want to pump that there, and maybe I want to pump that there. So you can see here, okay, I've got all of these three things here. So what can I do uh, when they're done? Uh, well, that's very simple. You can simply remove the due date from them if you wish to keep them in there. Or let's say I actually wanted to get rid of them uh, you can actually click in, archive them, and that indicates they're done on this list. But it could be a good way if you're someone that likes a to-do list experience to plot everything out there. Now, as I was mentioning, they do have a upgrade or sort of an uh, account pricing. So you obviously in the Freem account, you get one calendar for one board. Um, so that's quite useful if you want to swap around you can drag and drop basic views multi-day view these are all stuff we demoed one-way external calendar sync so you know if i wanted to export that to um, maybe google calendar i can so if i set up like a full project plan i could export that out to a google calendar um, but i can't do it two ways now the pro gives you all of the lovely stuff in here but also multi-view so you can see lots of different views from one board uh, so if you've got multiple projects for one specific item, you've got recurring cards, you've got two-way Google Sync, which is very helpful, and the filters ability. Now, they do have a team experience coming up very soon, um, a team timeline to be allowed to allow you to um, correlate stuff between members. Um, now, if you just want to use it between members, then they can do. The other person has to have it installed. But that pro pricing is $5 per month. Annually, you save 8.3%, it's $4.17 per month, but you pay annually. Now, there is a 15-day free trial, uh, which you should probably try out before you upgrade, but this could really enhance your Trello account, and something that, if you are a big Trello user, then you might really, really enjoy it. And of course, um, you know, if you're on Trello uh, Freemium, it still works great. And if you're on Trello Gold, it still works great. So don't worry 
about what account that you do have. Anyway, guys, I hope that was a nice overview of Trello, um, the plan away, plan away feature or the plan away calendar. Let me know in the comments whether you have any experiences with this application. It'd be great to hear. Um, particularly for me, I haven't been really too interested in this application. If I am planning maybe inside of Trello with my content calendar, I probably would do and have been doing this to just jot up a few items and a few of my own personal projects as well. But apart from that, uh, I probably wouldn't invest in the Pro just yet uh, until I'm confident that maybe this is something that I would use on a daily basis. Anyway, guys, I hope that was a nice overview. Let me know in the comments what you think, and it'd be great to hear back from you. But for now, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.